Welcome back to my WRCCA mini-series where I take you through the rules document. It's a hefty tome at first glance, but rest assured, the actual specifications of each class are actually only a few pages long. Today, we're going to look at the sportsman class, also known as Shafty or Sporty. You can see the other vehicle classes in this little series in the description. I've got a link to each one of these videos. Right, let's do it. The wheelbase of this vehicle is limited to 12.5 inches. And this guy has been made to be bang on within that, within that specification, 12.5 inches. This is a Margo V2 and it's about five years old now, built by the very capable hands of Dion Voigt. G'day Dion. Now that same measurement is to be used for the track width, 12.5 inches. And this guy sits at just under 11.5 inches at the front. And it's cheekily got smaller wheels, in fact, and a smaller track width at the back of just over nine. That's Dion's design and I quite like it, but many of them have a more even design. This is my pro, but there are many sporties getting around that look like that underneath, aside from the motor. As with the other 2.2 classes, the rim size is limited to 2.2 inches at the bead surface. Tire modifications are allowed, and in this case, you can see some of the pins are cut off on the front. We have a different foam configuration front and rear here. That's just a personal choice for handling. And with the tire mounted, no exterior component of the wheel, including the bead lock ring, should exceed 2.55 inches. Tires can be modified using only pliable rubber, so you can't introduce some of the material to it. And the total uncompressed outer diameter must not exceed six inches. And for reference, this guy will be about five and a half yeah, 5.4. I think these are actually, these voodoos are 5.45 from memory. So six inches is your uncompressed maximum. And if there's ever any doubt and it's not listed on the tire, the way they'll measure it at a comp is they'll place the vehicle on its side. Now it's uncompressed and they'll measure it that way. So that's how that's done. Vehicles in this class are limited to two wheel steering only. So that's steering just on one axle, not both ends. In terms of body, well, you've got to have one. It can be a cage style integrated body, which is like my Pro here, or it can be a polycarbonate body that is removable. That's fine, they're both fine, but bodiless vehicles aren't allowed. So if you were to get around, just pretend there's no body here, if you were to get around without a, a body on top, uh, not allowed by the rules in any of these classes for that matter. The bodies must resemble a full-size vehicle with cab, door, hood panels, and have measurements of at least eight inches overall. So you'll see this guy is well and truly comfortable with 11 plus inches. Uh, it needs to be three inches wide and three inches in height. This is a mini E-Revo body, which I just happened to stick on. And that's a typical sportsman underneath. You'll see that there's only one motor allowed, center transmission, drive shafts to each axle, so that's Sportsman, and if you're trying to buy or build one yourself and you wanna make sure that the one you're looking at conforms to the rules, you can find a link to the full rules document down below. And this whole little mini series is focused on section two. It's just a few pieces of paper in this whole thing. So it's not too scary, honestly, promise. Thanks for watching, throw me a like, and I'll catch you in the next one when we look at performance scale.